Let's see if we can write three fifths as a decimal. And I encourage you to pause this video and think about if you can do it on your own. And I'll give you a hint here. Can we rewrite this fraction? So instead of it being in terms of fifths, it can be in terms of tenths. So I'm assuming you've given a go at it. Let's try to rewrite this as let, let's try to rewrite this as a fraction with 10 as a denominator. But let's just first visualize this. So we have fifths. So that is one. So let's let's say that's one fifth. Actually, let me just copy and paste this. So copy and paste. That is two fifths. That is three fifths. And that is four fifths. And that is five fifths, or this would be a whole now. So that is our whole, and we want to color in three of those five. So we want to think about what three fifths are. So let me get my magenta out. So that's one fifth. I can actually make this bigger even. Two fifths and three fifths. There you go. Color that in. That is three fifths. Now, how could I write this in terms of tenths? Instead of three fifths, a certain number of tenths. Well, let's split this whole into tenths. And the easiest way to split this whole into tenths is to take each of those fifths and turn them into two tenths. So let's do that. So if we were to just, if we were to do this right over here, we now have twice as many sections. So another way of thinking about it, we are taking we are multiplying the number of sections by two. We now have 10 sections. Each of these is a tenth. And the three of those sections are now going to be twice as many. What we have in magenta, we now have twice as many sections in magenta. So we're going to multiply that by two as well. Notice, we just multiplied the numerator and the denominator by two. But hopefully it makes conceptual sense. Every piece, when we're talking about fifths, we've now doubled so that instead of Every one fifth is now two, is now two tenths. You have a one tenth now and a one tenth now, and we could just keep writing one tenths if we like. Each of these each of these things right over here are a tenth, and so and then each of the three are now twice as many tenths. So the three fifths is now six tenths. So let's write that down. So this is going to be equal to. 6 over 10. 6 over 10. Now, why is this interesting? You can literally view this as 6 tenths. So you could literally view this as 6, let me write it this way, 6 times 1 tenth. 6 times 1 tenth. I'm going to do that in blue. 6 times 1 tenth. Well, what's another way to represent 6 tenths, or 6 times 1 tenth? Well, you can express that as a decimal, where we go to the tenths place. So when you write a decimal, so let's see, 0 point, the space, the, the place right to the right of the decimal, that is the tenths place. This right over here is the ones. That right over here is the tenths. That's the tenths place. So how many tenths do we have? We have 6 tenths. So we could write this as 0.6. So there you have it. Let me write that. This is equal to this is equal to 0 0.6. And we're done. We've just expressed this as a decimal. 6 tenths is the same thing as 6 tenths, which can be rewritten as 3 fifths or vice versa.